for you to fight for your marriage. That is a scene from the number two movie in America right now, the faith-based film War Room. It's second only to Straight Out Compton. We're talking about a movie that was made for $3.5 million, but earned more than 11 in its first weekend. And it is helping turn two brothers into the unlikeliest movie moguls. I met up with Steven and Alex Kendrick in Atlanta to talk about how they're beating the Hollywood odds by keeping the faith. We've been praying for two years for this film. Uh, we were just on a prayer call in the airport a few minutes ago with our whole team. And uh, we believe that what is happening with War Room is a huge answer to prayer. So if I asked you what your prayer life was like, would you say that it was hot or cold? <laughs> I don't know that I would say it's hot. Keep fighting the good fight. The movie's about a couple whose relationship is crumbling. They're encouraged to establish a war room where they can battle their problems through prayer. Rotten Tomatoes gave you, I believe, a 13% or an 18% where right. the critics did not love this movie, but the people did. What do you say to those critics? We didn't make this movie for you. <laughs> so uh, we expect that. We actually laugh at what the critics say. I, I've got a file on my computer where I keep up with some of the best things that they, you know, some of the worst things they what, say about what some of the, what were some of the, well, it's funny, we put a Bible verse in a film and they say, you're punching me in the face with the Bible, you know, and I'm like, okay. And action crowd. Steven and Alex live in Albany, Georgia, far from Hollywood, but War Room is their fifth film. We thought, you know, two white guys from South Georgia, can we write a movie with an African-American cast and it be accepted? I think too many people resonate with what this movie's about. And mm. th this cast was amazing. And uh, to see it on the screen, I don't think we could have told it as powerfully another way. Keep letting your light shine. I would add, um, we want to tell the type of stories that, that bring faith and hope, uh, inspiration, that draw people to a closer walk with God. If mm. we can do that, that's successful. Ooh.